get to the police dog that was shot in the line of duty this morning. It really started with a chase all across the tri-state. Paco is the dog's name. Yeah, he was injured during an early morning chase, and nine on your size, Jordan Burgess, has been at the scene. Just spoke with police. And Jordan, what have you heard about the dog's injuries? Well, in just the last half hour or so, police confirming to us that the dog and the suspect in this case will be okay. But police still out here at this hour investigating. Got a lot of stuff to look through. They've got the suspect's car down there on Winton Road. That's where it was brought to a halt with stop sticks. Police say one of the suspects then got out, ran down Winton Road here, and ended up over by where you'll see some more evidence markers down the road. Now, that's where police say that he shot the police dog, and then officers say when he turned the gun toward them over in this area, they then fired and shot him. Now, we want to show you a picture of the police dog who was hit in the shoulder. He's Paco. He's been on the force for one year and actually was days away from getting a bulletproof vest that had been donated to the department. Now, police say this started when officers tried to pull over a suspected drunk driver in Springdale. He kept going for about four miles. At one point, police say it looked like the woman inside was trying to get out. They used stop sticks on the car. The woman surrendered. A gun was thrown from the car, and the man got out with another gun and started running. The dog went after him. That's when that shooting happened. We asked the police chief about the seriousness of someone shooting a police dog. I view it as, you know, the when, when a suspect's firing shots, it, it's the same as the police officers that were taking fire this morning. Just the, the, it's the same thing. The dog and the human police officers, it's just, it's, there's no difference to me. Right now, police say it could be another hour or so, maybe even longer than that, before Winton Road is reopened here just north of North Bend Road. And police also at this hour looking for something in Forest Park that they say had been thrown by the vehicle from the, by, from the vehicle by the suspect. They're not sure at this point what that was. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, not on your side. Wow, a lot of moving parts there, Jordan, in that story. Thank you for.